Welcome to Excel in a minute. One of the flexible functions in Excel is the XLOOKUP since it can return a result even if the location of the lookup value is on another column, row, or array. In this lesson, we are going to pair it with another versatile function, the switch function, to return the sum of total sales according to a selected category. But before anything else, let's review their syntaxes. The XLOOKUP has six arguments. The lookup value, lookup array, and the return array, if not found, match mode, and search mode. The switch has four arguments, expression, value, result, and default result. Consider this table that shows the number of sales per batch and per month. Recall that our goal is to have a counter that can look up the total sales depending on the selected category. And the categories are batch and month. Thus, we need an equation that can switch between these two. So, let's start by calling the switch equation here in cell E24. For the expression, let's use the drop down list of categories in cell E22. And for the value, we have month and batch to be compared against cell E22. Lastly, for the return argument, let's call the xlookup function. But since there are two categories, we need to create two xlookup equations. Thus, for the month category, the xlookup equation would be where the lookup value is cell F23. The lookup array is from cell C3 to G3, and the return array is from C4 to G8. On the other hand, the batch category has the xlookup equation, where the lookup value is cell E23. The lookup array ranges from cell B4 to B8, and the return array is still from C4 to G8. Lastly, let's not forget that we need the total sum of these sales. Thus, let's enclose these equations with the sum function. And the final equation is. Let's test the equation by selecting month of March. As you can see, the equation returns $615. And that wraps this lesson. The equation was able to return the total sum for both categories since the switch function allows us to switch between a list of values while the xlookup function allows us to locate values belonging to different categories. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.